Well, good day, everybody. I'm Russ Reed, and I'm the executive director of the National Center for the Biotechnology Workforce. And I'm delighted today because we have one of our graduates, Amber DeWitt. And she is a biotech grad from several years ago. And Amber's been on a, tr a tremendous career pathway. So we want to just have a, a short conversation with her and be able to tell people and have people understand exactly the career path that she's been on since she's left the college. And so Amber, welcome to SciTech. Hi, thank you for having me. Okay, so Amber, this is the big question. Okay, what have you been doing since you graduated from Foresight Tech? And this is kind of like a complex question. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about your experience at Foresight Tech and then your career path that you're on now. Sure. So um, I graduated from Forsyth Tech twice in 2018. Uh, I went through the biotech program, as you said, and I also graduated with the Associate of Science. Um, and from there, one of the, the most notable things that I've done, uh, I through my connections at Forsyth Tech, uh, I was able to get a job at Wake Forest Baptist Health in one of their research labs where we did research on um, Alzheimer's. Uh, that's what I did experiments for. I really enjoyed it. I did that for almost two years. And then I made a career change and decided to join the military. I joined the Navy and um, I just finished qualifying at my training command for two years. Uh, now I'm, I, I am a nuclear electrician. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so amazing, <laughs> Amber. And uh, I just want to uh, congratulate you for your career choice and thank you for the, for your service to our country. And uh, just uh, as well, I uh, wanted to let you know that Sean Killebrew also is a veteran of the Guard and was in the foreign wars. So I want to thank you both for your service. Um, so, uh, you know, tell us, Amber, what you can uh, obviously your active service and we don't want you to get into trouble with anybody in the navy but tell us a little bit about um you know what you're doing uh, as much as you can sure so like i said it was a two-year long pipeline of uh training lots of school um every day <laughs> seven days a week uh, 12 hours every single day um we went through a school graduated from that went through power school graduated from that, and I just went from six months qualifying as an electrician on a nuclear submarine at Prototype, all of which you can find on government websites, uh, so I'm not telling you any secrets. Um, starting out in A school, you learn the very basics, uh, for my rate anyway, as an electrician, uh, you'll learn about basic electricity, you'll take math again, um, digital, like microprocessors, um, and then in power school, uh, you learn, you start to learn about nuclear theory, uh, radiological principles, reactor theory, um, things like exposure, uh, radiation safety. You'll learn nuclear physics. You'll take math again. Um, and finally, you'll graduate. And then you'll go on to your next commands at Prototype, where you actually are finally able to step foot on a nuclear submarine, and you'll start the whole process of qualifying hundreds and hundreds of checkouts, um, checkouts that we call them, uh, where you will interact with staff and uh, they'll teach you um, in person and in the submarine live right there. You actually get to look at the things that you have been learning about for so long um, and actually experience them firsthand. So. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's very exciting. Um, and uh uh, you know, I, I think uh, back to your experience at, at Foresight Tech and in the biotech program and the associates program. Are there any particular skills that you learn back in those programs that uh, really help you with uh, what you're doing now? Oh, yes. Uh, so I left out chemistry. Uh, there's so much chemistry that we have to learn with the plant. Uh, it's super important. Uh, we definitely did lots of, of labs. Um, so that carried over from the biotech program. We do um, also, lots of chemistry, organic chemistry as well. Um, in the nuclear pipeline, we also learn uh, materials um, and laboratory techniques as well. Uh, so I believe that's how that carries over there. Um, another thing more subtle um, I learned from my bioethics bio teacher, uh, one of the greatest pieces of advice that I ever got was marketing yourself. 
Um, so Forsyth Tech really helped me there. Also the ambassador program that Forsyth Tech offered, being an ambassador uh, really helped me gain confidence and that helps so much when you're in prototype and you have to go seek out information. It's not being taught anymore. You're going and actually having to interact with staff and talk to them. It's more of discussion based. Uh, so. Well, that's that's really interesting. Um, when you when when you were back at the college, did you have a you know did you tend to ha have a profic high proficiency in in some area that is really you know reflecting back on what you're doing in the Navy now? I would say chemistry. I really enjoyed chemistry um, and being actually in the lab. Um, chemistry is actually my best subject in uh, the whole pipeline. I did really well there, um, and it always stays with you um, throughout the fleet, through your whole experience as a new gear. You have to know chemistry. Super That's important. That's great. Well, you know, you know, Amber, you can give a shout out to your teachers if you want. You know, there's probably still at the college. <laughs> oh, absolutely. So, um, absolutely, definitely, um, Dr. Lucien Huanu, uh, he provided me so many networking opportunities, uh, mentored me. Um, my bioethics teacher, his name escapes me, um, but Jim Crawford? was it Jim Crawford? Crawford? Yes, Mr. Crawford. Yes, yes. Um, he he gave me the advice um, for marketing yourself. And actually, uh, when I was in the program, uh, I would get business cards. He recommended us to get business cards and pass them out to start the, the job searching process, which helped me out so much. Um, and I got lots of interviews and opportunities before I finally um, accepted the offer to Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center. That's great. Now, um, you know, during your program, just reflecting back on your program at the college, did you have an opportunity to do work study? Yes. So I did work-based learning at Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine for a few months. I was in a genetics lab. Um, we did a gel electrophoresis uh, practice with um, all of the Microsoft, like, spreadsheets. Um, we review laboratory techniques, um, going through procedures and getting familiar with different equipment. Um, also, it really helps um, being procedural based in the program. Uh, it very much carries over. The nuclear pipeline is procedure, procedure, procedure. You always have to have the procedure open no matter what, um, whether you're doing maintenance or you're following um, a casualty or anything like that, you always have to have your manuals open. You have to have them memorized, actually. There's so many textbooks that I have memorized now. Um, and I think that the biotech program really prepped me um, to follow procedures and um, SOPs. And, and, and Amber, one of the things that, you know, we do a lot of interviews with local uh, companies here to try to fine tune the programs that we have. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, a lot of what comes up in most recent discussions you know, is documentation. Is, is that something that, that comes up on your end as well? Yes, uh, dealing with confidential classified um, information, uh, making sure that we carefully document everything is a huge deal. Um, we always have to keep track of uh, our paperwork and um, your names on everything. You're confidentially stamping everything. Uh, it's, you have to be very organized. Um, Very organized and, and and make sure that you leave a paper trail, right? Yes, yeah. always paper trails. There's Amber, not really anything electronic. <laughs> Amber, congratulations on 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 your um, your choice and your career so far. Uh, do you have any kind of advice for your fellow students back at the college or people who may be watching this? Um, you know, who may be thinking about choosing a similar career. Sure. Um, definitely, like I said, um, take my bioethics instructor's advice and market yourself. Um, do really well in your classes and interact with your professors because they are your point source uh, for networking and helping you get connected to other professionals um, in your field. And they can really help you out. And that was huge for me. Um, there's wonderful staff in the biotech program. I think it's the best program. And uh, we have great staff at Precise Tech. So I think definitely utilize those resources. Be resourceful. Well, I think that's great advice, Amber. And I, I want to say to you on behalf of the college that we're very proud of you. And um, 
you know, we, um, we hope that you have a great career with the Navy and thank you for serving the country. Well, it's been a delight to have you and I wanna thank you for coming on. We've been planning this for a long time. I'm very excited for you, but I'm very excited for the advice that you've given back to your fellow students at the college. And uh, also the thank yous back to faculty because they do such a great job. And so, uh, wow, a shining graduate in our US Navy. How about that, Sean? It's absolutely fantastic and a testament to the college. It is truly a testament to the college and a testament to you too, Amber. Thank you for joining us today on SciTech. Thank you so much. Thank you. And for good luck me. to you. Thank you.